people talk to you often about the fact that you have guides, you have angels, you have entities talking to you, guiding you nonstop in every moment of your life. And that's where you're getting the information that leads you to your best life. Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman. You're joining us right now for the Let's Get Metaphysical show where you'll discover the hidden forces, what's out of your awareness that are driving the choices you make and therefore the life you lead in every moment. Let's continue. So where are all these messages coming from? How are you recognizing them? Well, a very simple way to become aware of them is notice things that you might not before have been noticing in your world, in your life. Well, what kind of things am I talking about? You're riding down the road and you catch a glimpse of a few of the words that are on a billboard that you're driving by. Now, those few words have a message for you. And if you're able to take it in, you'll say, oh, yeah, I hadn't thought of that before. But those are your guides leading you to drive by that billboard, to drive by and catch just the part of the message on the billboard that's appropriate for you. Many years ago, I was interviewing somebody. No, many years ago, she was interviewing me and I was talking about this kind of topic. And she said, you know what? For a long time, I've been wanting to learn Spanish. And when I got in my car the other day, I turned on my radio and it was playing a Spanish station. And then she went on to say, I never tuned in a Spanish station on my radio. It was just there playing. Those are the kinds of things that the universe, that your guides, angels, and entities are doing for you to show you there's something here for you that's going to make your world and your life easier. Now, I had a very interesting experience with that yesterday. I had been traveling, and on my way home, I needed to stop to get some gasoline. And I rode by a station, and it was a really good price. So I went in there. And just a whole bunch of things weren't working right. And it was a half an hour before I was able to get the gas in my car. I've never seen a crazy system uh, business working that way. Now, why am I telling you that? Because two different times during that half hour, I got really clear messages that said, this is not a good use of your time. Let's go to your preferred gas station, which will be further down the road on your way home. I got that message loud and clear two times. I ignored it both times. And guess what? When I eventually was able to get the gas in my car, and then, yeah, I had to ride by the other station on my route home, it was a whole lot cheaper at the other station. There were no long lines. People were just going as always had in the past. You just get out of your car, you put the pump in, you put your card in, you get your gas and you go. I was given the message to go there twice. I don't know if it was by the same guides, by the same angels, by the same entities, and it doesn't really matter. The fact is, I ignored a very clear message that was in my conscious awareness because I've been talking and communicating with my guides, angels, and entities for so long that I hear a whole lot of the messages, most of them, in fact. And what's really cool lately, I've always gotten messages about other people, just always. I never understood it when I was a lot younger. I'd have a message for somebody or somebody's child, adult child. And, and I'd share it. It's like I'd open my mouth and these words would come out. And I'd say, that didn't come from me. 
that just came through me a message for you or for you to pass on to your child. So those kinds of things have been happening a whole lot more often lately with people who I don't consider to be especially close to me, but I'll have a vision, a feeling about something that's going to happen in their life, in their world. And the next time I see them, guess what they're talking about? They're talking about the very same event that had already been messaged to me as something that was going to come into their world. So you can have the ability, not you can, you do have the ability to tune in to the messages you're getting because you're getting them nonstop. And when you're able to pay attention to them, you'll get things like the best route home, the best route to avoid because there's some kind of traffic that you couldn't possibly know about. And when you're tuning in and paying attention because you trust those feelings because of your two-way communication, they make your life flow more easily, flow better. So if you're interested in knowing how to make that a two-way conversation, so you can speak directly to your angels, your guides, the entities influencing you, not just tuning in what they're already sharing with you, but for you to have a question or a desire for some guidance in a specific area, you can do it. And you go down in the show notes and you click the link to contact me and we'll do exactly that and if enough people want to do it it will go into the aoitlc.club and you'll be able to come to a special webinar that i'll hold but only for members at aoitlc.club now you may notice i'm wearing some different jewelry today coloring's a little bit odd today this is a jade, it's a green jade necklace and fresh water pearls. Now I used to have a jewelry uh, business. I made jewelry and music boxes and sculptures using semi-precious stones. This is one of them. And why did I choose the particular stones that I did? Because everything by nature is infused with very, specific energies at very specific frequencies that impact your life in very distinct patterns. That's why there's so many different gemstones and different materials from woods. There's gold, there's silver, there's sterling silver. And I've been using all these things. I have very big business making the jewelry with all the sculptures. And I always provide the information about each stone so that you can get exactly what you're needing in your life. So let me tell you about this. Fresh water pearls, they don't come from oysters. They're not coming from the ocean. They come in riverbeds from mussels. Now, here's why I find this so exciting. I never ate mussels before in my whole life. And I think it was about two months ago, for the first time in my life, I added mussels to the seafood selection that I really like. And by the way, seafood that's coming from shells is extremely nutritious for you. So that's just another little tidbit of information. So these fresh water pearls, what do they mean for you? Well, interestingly, when I started eating the mussels and you take the mussel out of the shell and there's the little connector point. Well, the little connector point that I separate the mussel to eat 
from this shell, it's very clearly the point that the pearl would grow on. So if a speck of sand gets in, and they tend to be in riverbeds, where, yeah, specks of sand get in. And I just think these are way more beautiful than cultured pearls. And on the side, pearls provide energy and some other uh, special things for you. But the thing is, you drain the energy out of the pearls. I had a pearl necklace many years ago, and the luster was completely gone. Because just by wearing it, I had drained the energy into my body. So these little tiny pearls, let me tell you all the things that they're helpful for in a spiritual metaphysical sense. So they bring clarity to your thoughts, to your intentions. They also, by doing that, they allow you to have a deeper connection with your own inner spirit, with your own intuition. They therefore can enhance your meditation and your spiritual practices. And isn't that why you're here at Let's Get a Physical Show to enhance your spiritual connections and your spiritual practices. They also, freshwater pearls, are associated with the energy of the moon, which is a very feminine energy. And there's a lot of feminine, pretty gentle energy that includes nurturing others, nurturing yourself. Your intuition will be deepened and you'll have a lot more receptivity to the energies happening in your world around you and the people, not necessarily your friends, but people you're around. You'll be reading other people's energies more clearly, more often. Now that's what the pearls are about. Well, what about the jade? Well, jade comes in a range of colors and most of the jade that we're familiar with tends to come from China. And there's a whole lot of things made of different shades of green jade. So specifically, the green jade supports your knowledge of the occult. So it increases your occult wisdom. It inspires very concise and very quick decisions. And here's the part that I think leads me to wear because I have lots and lots of jewelry because I'll make it. I have lots and lots of it. It allows you to experience peace and calm, a stabilizing effect. In fact, you'll see people have jade sculptures sitting in their home, sitting on their desk. And when you need the calming energy for your mind, for your body, you can just hold the jade, you can touch it, or you can just look at it. And you'll also get an increase for your mind of courage, of clarity, of tranquility. And so that combination is energizing this necklace. And if you're interested in learning more about the variety of stones that I use, because each one has its own unique energy, contact me again, look in the show notes to do that. When I was doing my business at one of my book clubs years ago, I had all my jewelry out. And one of the members came over and she picked up a necklace and she said, I want to buy this when the meeting's over. Is it okay if I wear it during the meeting? And she did. 
I'd never had this experience with anybody else before. At the end of the meeting, she came up. I thought she was going to purchase it. And she said, I can't buy this. It's made me really hot. And guess what? When I touched the necklace, it was really and truly hot. In fact, it stayed hot for two whole weeks, 14 days. It stayed hot because of the interaction with her body turning on a certain power in that necklace that I'm not remembering which one it was. I wish I had written it down because when I am writing up the impact in the spiritual and the metaphysical impact that each stone has on people, I never remember seeing anything that said makes a person hot. I thank you again for coming today. I'm Reverend Allie Bierman. This is a Let's Get Better physical show. And I invite you to go to our Facebook group where you can ask questions. Let me know what you're interested in knowing about. And I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, oh, look at there. Okay. Okay. So before all that stuff, we'll go back and do this. You may have noticed I have some patches on my wrist. And the reason I have them there is there are some health challenges that I have. And one of the things that happened is my heart would go bump, 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 loud and hard, sometimes for a minute sometimes for very many hours. And by wearing these patches in these specific places, my heart stays calm and even more often because it feels really cruddy when you don't know what your heart's going to be doing. And I can count on feeling better with my heart doing what's supposed to be doing, beating out of my awareness because it's not making me loud, thump, that I can actually hear and feel. So if you're tired of struggling, because struggling, suffering, they're both optional, contact me. I work one on one with you to see the best way to end your struggling. Now remember to go to our Facebook group, ask questions, get the extras that go in there, make a good friend. And also remember, you can find the video and the audio of every one of our episodes on our show site. The other thing you can do there is leave a review. I really appreciate you doing that, and here's why. When people see reviews, they know whether or not there's a topic within our show that's something they're looking for. I know I find podcasts all the time, constantly adding new ones, changing the ones that are regular for me. And I do that a whole lot because, actually, probably almost always, because of a review that somebody shared. So it helps us to grow. It helps to get our word out there. And... It's really helpful for the people who are looking to expand their spiritual part of their life. It's really important to join the AOITLC club because there's information there you're not going to find anyplace else. And it's a real bargain. She was, it's just $7 a month for that privileged information that you're not going to get just by doing searches for me. And most important of all, I like to leave you with, what's that message? To enjoy, capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, every moment. Something in your life happens outside of you. Nothing 
is experienced outside of you. A hundred percent of what you see, hear, taste, touch, smell happens when the electromagnetic when the electromagnetic messages come with in. And I look forward to being here with you next time.